Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about this tutorial, so let's hop right in. I'm using my new favorite primer, which is by Milani. It's I believe it's called the Prime and Shield Primer, and it's oil controlling and pore minimizing, which is a plus. So I'm just going to rub that all over and really concentrate on the areas that I have the largest pores. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Shine Free Powder. This is a translucent powder that is really fine milled and it really, really minimizes pores and controls shine. So I'm actually going to set my primer with this. I know that sounds kind of funny, but yeah, I'm going to put a thin layer onto the areas that I have the most pores, just like I did with the primer, and I'm just going to set over top of that. And honestly, you can see where I'm setting the powder, my pores are just kind of just diminishing, just minimizing. And this powder is very translucent, so it kind of melts onto your skin and you can't really see it. You won't get any white flashback and you won't look ashy at all through the day. It's just going to really control your shine and really control your oils and really make your makeup last all day. So you should try it. Next, I'm going to go on with my Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, and this is the Matte and Poreless Formula in the shade Classic Tan. And I'm going to take a very thin layer of this foundation. I'm not using much at all. And I think that's the key to sweat-proof foundation or sweat-proof makeup is to not have too much on your face to begin with. So I'm going to go on with a very thin layer and blend that all over my face with a Real Techniques blending sponge. Next, I'm going in with my Milani foundation, and this is actually the Conceal and Perfect foundation and concealer. I never really liked it as a foundation, but I've really, really been loving it as just a concealer. So I, this is the shade 0910, and I'm just going to put it in all, underneath my eyes, down my nose, forehead, upper lip, and chin.
concealer in the shade Yellow Corrector and I'm putting that on top of my concealer to brighten it up. If I was to put this down by itself, I'd go like an ashy color. So putting it on top of a concealer that's closer to my skin tone is, you know, pretty, pretty much effective. sponge to make sure I have no creasing and I'm going to go in with my favorite setting powder this is the Cody air spun setting powder and this is the major key to not having sweaty uh, makeup all day and what you want to do is pounce it underneath your eyes very lightly a lot of people make mistakes of pressing it under their eye on their concealer really really hard you want to barely tap it there so it doesn't get like a blotchy you know blotchy spots all over your face so you want to tap it in really really lightly set that area first and then go back on top of it and add more powder to bake <laughs> shade and light palette I'm gonna bronze my face with this center brown shade I'm gonna put it on my face. I'm gonna put it on my face. I'm gonna put it on my face. 
foundation and concealer on there can crease a little bit. So I'm going to tap that off and take the powder from underneath my eyes and set my eyelids. So lazy, huh? <laughs> so I'm going to set it that way. I'm brushing all the powder around my face. I'm brushing it out of all the highlighted areas and kind of setting my face with the rest of it. So I'm going back into the Kat Von D palette and go in the darkest shade of brown and really chisel and contour with that shade. You used to call me on my cell phone. So now I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the palette <laughs> That Glow. Can I talk today? So yeah, the palette is in That Glow. I'm going to take Bronze Glow and lay that highlighter down first. to bronze glow I'm also gonna have have what I'm also gonna put bubbly on my cheeks and I'm gonna stack those two highlighters and it really just adding bubbly just makes it just pop like it's just so beautiful when you you know combine those highlighters Now taking my favorite wet n wild blush in pearlescent pink. I'm just gonna blush up my cheeks. Going back over my face with my powder brush. I'm just going to blend everything together and this is pretty much the look you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see how I got this look here, please like the video, subscribe and stay tuned because it is already recorded and I will be uploading it next week. So please give me a thumbs up. Love you guys. Bye.